Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to solve transportation problem using least cost method or LCM method. We are given with a numerical and asked to find out the initial basic feasible solution for the given transportation problem using LCM method. Any given problem that we have in, we are always given with the source. For us, the source had come in terms of a factory and then we have gotten the destination in terms of a warehouse. For the destination or the warehouse, the demand will take place from the destination and the source can supply the products in terms of a capacity. At each and every one of the intersection points between the source and the destination, we have gotten the cost of transporting a particular product. In this particular method, we are going to find out where we have gotten the least cost and accordingly we are going to start with the calculation. At the very first level, what you have to do is find out whether the given problem is a balanced transportation or not. When I say balanced transportation, demand is always equivalent to supply. Find out what is the demand. We have gotten 7 plus 9 plus 18. This is the demand that we have. Put together, this will give us 34. Similarly, go ahead and find out for capacity also 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 14. This will also give us 34. So wherein you can find out this is a balanced transportation problem. Now that you have identified this is a balanced transportation problem, you can go ahead and start the allocation. From the given cost matrix, identify which has gotten the least cost here. We have gotten the least cost is going to be at the level of 1 and then again we have gotten another 1. We will always start allocation with first come first serve basis. So we are going to start our allocation with the first unit that we have. So here the demand is 18 and the capacity is 8. So which means they can supply only 8 units over here. This 8 units had become 0 and this 18 had become 10 over here, which means already from the factory 2, they could supply only 2 units, will not be able to allocate any more units here. Now go ahead and find out which is the next minimum cost. The next minimum cost is at 1. Start the allocation from here. Between 7 and 14, where is the minimum value? The minimum value is at this particular point. So go ahead and start the allocation of 7 over here which means the destination A or the warehouse had a demand of only seven units, which is fulfilled from the particular factory four. So we don't want to allocate anything more. We are already done with that. So the demand will become zero over here. And the capacity was they can deliver 14 units out of which they have delivered seven, seven units we are left with. Then go ahead and find out which is the next least cost from this given table again we have got a least cost of 2 over here. Go ahead and start the allocation between 10 and between 7, which is the minimum. We have gotten 7 as the minimum. Go ahead and allocate 7 over here. 7 will become 0. And since we have already exhausted 7, we are left with 3 demand from this particular point. So in total, we wanted 14 units. That is that. From this particular point, we will not be having any more demand coming from. Let's move on to the next one. Go ahead and find out which is the next least cost. We have gotten 7, 4, then 4, and we are left with 7. Out of these 4, where have we gotten the minimum? Again, there are two different 4 points. Take the first come first serve basis. So we will be sticking to the first come first of basis 4 over here. So find out for this 4, the demand is here and the capacity is 5. Between 3 and 5, which is the minimum, we have gotten 3, which means already the demand is fulfilled from this point, will not be able to allocate. And the capacity has become 2 now. Already we have given 3, so it is 2 now. Now what are we left with? We are left with, again, two different points. One is 4. The other one is 7, out of which, which is the minimum, we have gotten 4 as the minimum. Go ahead and start your allocation at this point. So out of 9 and 7, which is the minimum, 7 is the minimum. So go ahead and supply 7 unit and still we have gotten 2 more points or 2 demand points over here. 
this will become zero because we have exhausted. Now, what are we left with? The one and only cell that is left is seven. And what is the demand? The demand is two. And again, the capacity is also two. Go ahead and supply this. So, which means this had become zero and capacity also had become zero. We have completely done with the allocation. Now, go ahead and find out whether we have fulfilled the capacity also. 2 plus 3 will give you 5. 8. Capacity is also 8. Here we have gotten 7 and here also 7. 7 plus 7, we have gotten 14 over here. Similarly, go ahead and find out whether we have exhausted demand. 7. Then we have gotten 9. 7 plus 2, we have gotten 9. And for 18, 7 plus 8 plus 3, we have gotten. So that is also fulfilled. And at the same time, you can find out the rim condition, M plus M minus 1. M always denotes the row. We have gotten four factories over here. So four factories plus three destinations or three warehouses we have here, minus 1. 7 minus 1 will give us 6 over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The rim condition is also fulfilled. Go ahead and identify the transportation cost using LCM. 7 into 2 plus 4 into 3 plus 1 into 8, 4 into 7, 1 into 7 plus 2 into 7. 7 into 2 will give us 14. 4 into 3, 1 into 8 is 8. 4 into 7, 28. 1 into 7, 7 plus 2 into 7, 14. When you sum up, you will have a value of 83. The transportation cost using the LCM method is 83. I'm sure you were able to follow the concept. Should you have any doubts, please post it in the comment box. I'm happy to answer it. Thank you so much for joining me. See you in the next video. Good day.